welterweight potential fight of the night. Peruvian Rolando Bodea draws an absolute killer in Chaos Williams for his UFC debut and on a massive pay-per-view prelim, no less. The former Fusion FC welterweight champion Rolando was scooped up by the UFC after his 11th straight win, and he'll hope to keep that streak into the UFC octagon and keep his momentum going. Chaos Williams is a UFC headhunter. He has four wins in the UFC, and three of those are performance of the night knockouts. He's now been battle-tested in the UFC, never being finished, and always wants to have a fight of the night worthy performance. Rolando has shown the ability to succeed in both the stand-up and the grappling, with the caveat of those performances being against subpar competition outside the UFC. My worry from watching his FFC title fight and other fights in his career, he's hit an alarming number of times for a guy whose next opponent is as dangerous as Chaos Williams. This fact is the reason I believe the odds see Chaos Williams as the minus 250 favorite. Rolando has also not been totally free of being rocked by his opponents. He has been dropped in some of his fights, and in those cases, he outlasts and wins the fight later on, like a lot of UFC performances we see from guys with good chins that are good grapplers that can get to safe areas that also aren't too shabby in the striking game. In fairness, FFC has not made Rolando's strength of schedule as easy as other prospects coming from the indie scene, and it should help him in terms of debuting against the talent level of the UFC. The question for the Rolando side or the over side, if you're going to bet that anything where this fight goes a little bit longer, it's whether he'll game plan in the wrestling and whether or not his chin that's held up against regional welterweights and lightweights can survive shots from a seriously powerful welterweight in Chaos Williams. At the very least, can it lead to the grappling safe areas that might allow him to recover, survive, and get the fight back to its feet and slowly start to wear on Chaos Williams a little bit? I don't think Rolando will have the big moments in this fight, but I don't know if there's enough value there on the plus 200, plus 250 for the Rolando side. When you get this big gap, the sports book tends to take a bigger cut of the pie when you look at implied odds in that middle part. If I'm looking at anything, I'm going to look at Rolando maybe late, maybe by decision, and then Chaos Williams TKO. I think that's his best route to victory. Again, decision's probably going to have more value there. If he drops him, he's got that power. He could probably put his lights out. But that'll do it for me today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, remember to smash that like button. We'll have plenty more of UFC 288 content coming up. So make sure you keep it here on Combat Sports Central, and I will see you in the next one.